isahan ng mga sites kung saan kayo pwede maghanap ng mga programming challenges, pwede nyo i-visit. Hello world, it's me again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new to my channel, I am a BS Computer Science student studying at the University of the Philippines, Mindanao, and also it's raining today. So if may marini kayong background noise, ulan yun. So, sorry guys if I haven't uploaded for a while kasi meron ako mga school requirements na tinatapos even though end of SEM na kami. So, for today's video, I will be doing a Q&A. I will be answering your questions about computer science and also academics. I've asked you guys on my Instagram. So, if you want to participate in the next Q&A, please follow me at PedroRizara19 on Instagram. Also, please click the subscribe button down below and also the bell button next to it so that you will be notified every time that I upload a new video. So, let's start with the video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, for the first question, what language do you use? What programming language do you use? Preferred programming language. Okay, so as of now, I don't have a preferred programming language yet because I want to like learn different languages. And titingnan ko sa kanila kung anong pinaka gusto ko or favorite ko. Pero the languages that I've already used are C, C++, JavaScript, Python, and also Swift. So, pero ang longest na nagamit ko ng programming language is C. I've used it for like a year now. Kasi first time yun ang tinuro sa amin sa Comsa 18. So if you want to know the subjects that I had during first time, I'll also leave the link down below. I made a video about that. So, yun nga, C ang pinaka ginagamit ko. So I think yun yung pinaka comfortable ako na language na gamitin. And yun yung language na ginagamit ko pang practice then online for like programming challenges. So yun, yun yung ginagamit ko always C. Pero I'm also learning C++ and I've also used JavaScript. I've also used Python. Pero yeah, basic pa lang sa Python. Yung JavaScript medyo intermediate. Ang C ang talaga ginagamit ko. So yun yung programming languages na mga ginamit ko. So, next. Hi, Bea. Anong websites or books ang reference mo pag nagsa-study ka ng C or C++ language? Hi, April! So, ang websites and references na ginagamit ko is usually yung minibigay ng prof. It's yung sa C++ how to program in C++ by Daytel. I'll just leave the link down below to the book. Pero yung nag-aaral ako ng C, I usually refer sa mga PowerPoints ng prof namin. And also, I practice online. Usually, pag ginagamit ko yung internet, nagpa-practice ako online sa hacker rank and also code forces. Pero if you want, like, isahan ng mga sites kung saan kayo pwede mag hanap ng mga programming challenges, pwede nyo i-visit ang progbar.fun. And don't worry, all the links that I'm giving to you in this video, I'll leave it in the description box below. So make sure to check the description box. Okay, next question. Ano po ang naging best experience nyo sa course nyo po sa computer science? Oh, actually, I think this is the best experience and also like the most tiring. I mean, ito yung like most challenging and also the best experience that I've had during course. So, yung best experience ko is when, actually challenging. So, from challenging, naging best experience. So, nung nagturo yung prof namin na link list, nahirapan akong intindihan siya. Pero like, our, pro our prof is super nice. I ask him questions, but ganito, but ganyan. I mean, I don't know. If comes I stood it ka, minsan kasi may mga lessons na like, gets mo siya, pero hindi mo siya ma-program or code. So like, uh. So, binigyan kasi kami ng programming assignment ng teacher namin. Because we had like one week to complete it and then we submit it. So, oh my gosh, link list. <laughs> Hindi ko talaga magets yung kung paano i-program ang link list. Pero like, gets ko yung concept ng link list. So, syempre, hindi ko lang pwede like, i-gets yung concept. Kailangan ko na siya i-code. Kasi may programming assignment kami. So like, I spent, I spent like, hours of self-study, paturo, asking questions. Tapos parang, Puyat ako like halos every day of that week para lang magets yung link list tapos up until the day before the deadline. So if so choose the deadline Monday, di pa din ako ganon nakapagkod. Pero like puyat na talaga yung ginagawa ko nun para lang magets kayo. So nung Monday ang nangyari like buong araw like nagaaral na talaga ako 11 pm din gets ko na talaga siya kung paano gawin yung link list and stuff. So 11 pm I was like ah. Uh, pala na. 
I called my friend. I said, Pudro, can you like teach me about link this? And also, ito yung mga hindi ko mag-gets. Ganun yun. Ang important kasi is magpaturo ka. You have to like pinpoint the things that you do not you do not understand so that yung magtuturo sa'yo, alam din yung mga specific points na ituturo sa'yo or like di mo maintindihan. So like, mas suited sa'yo yung tuturo niya. So it's like, food road, ito din ko mag-gets. Ganyan, ganyan. Chu, 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 chu. Kasi nasa dorm siya ako nasa bahay. Tapos, sabi ng friend ko na, okay, tinuroan niya ako ganyan, ganyan. Nag-usap kami for like 10 to 15 minutes. And I was like, a week, a week of me learning everything na gets ko after that 10 minute phone call. And I'm like, okay, so, let's go. Nag- so, nung nag-gets ko na siya 11pm, as in 11pm to the day before, nung nag-gets ko na siya, like, dire-diretso na ako mag-code until 5am. Kasi, I don't know, if you're like a programming, pro if you're like a comsci student, or also a programmer, feel ko gets mo yung pagkawar, nag-gets mo na, tapos, nag tapos may coding assignment ka, or like, project, tapos nag-gets mo na kung paano gawin, like, na-debug mo na yun, everything, like, dire-diretso ko na mag-code, nasa mood ka na mag-coding. So, like, from 11pm to 5am, nag-code na ako, as in, non-stop, dire-diretso, like, grabe yung motivation ko mag-code dun. Tapos pagka 5am, meron na lang mga minor changes na kailangan gawin. So pagka 5am, natulog na talaga ako. Hindi ako nag-attend ng morning classes na nung time na yun kasi kulang na talaga ako natulog. Tapos hindi ko na talaga kaya. So, nung 5am, natulog ako. Gumising ako ng 10pm. 10pm, di. Chok lang. Natulog ako 5am, nagising ako 10am. Tapos I had to submit it by 1pm nung araw na yun, nung Tuesday. So, 10, 10 a.m. nagising ako. I packed everything that, that I needed for school. Tapos pumasok na ako. Tapos sinapit ko yung homework na. So, oh my gosh, that's like one of the best experiences. And also, one of the most challenging experiences sa Comsai journey ko nung freshman ako. Kasi, like, hindi mo mag-guess. Tapos bigla mong mag like, It's one of the best experiences that I've had. Tapos dire-diretso ako mag-code noon for like 11. 6 hours, dire-diretso ako mag-code. And it's like one of the best experiences that I've had. So, yun. So, next question. Ano po mapapayo niyo sa mga girls na magiging new student po ng computer science? So, hi Faith! Siya din nagtanong ng question kanina. She also has a YouTube channel. So, check that out. I'll leave the link down to her YouTube channel below. So, from my own experience, kasi STEM din ako nung senior high, pre-computer studies, specializing in pre-computer studies. So, if you want to know what my subjects were in senior high, and also your specialization for no senior high STEM pre-computer studies. I'll leave the link down to that video below. Ano mo ba tayo ko? Based on my experience, kati lang talaga ba ba sa homesay? Like, nung senior high ako, 8 lang kami out of 32. Out of a class of 32. Tapos nung sa college, 12 out of 32 ata kami na girls. And yeah, okay lang yun. I mean, sinasabi ko lang sa inyo, baka magulat kayo kung konti lang kayong girls. Yeah, usually konti lang girls sa homesite. Ang papaya ko sa inyo is like, don't be intimidated by people na may knowledge na about programming even before college. I mean, like, they're very, very good na. And, kasi someone DM me din on Instagram na, ate, paano, paano hindi ma-intimidate sa mga taong magagaling mag-programming? Don't be intimidated. Why? Because those people are also very nice and they'll understand the struggles that you have kasi they've also went through that before. Mas nako na lang sila kasi nga naturo na yun sa kanila nung high school or like elementary yung programming. So they'll also understand you. They're willing to help you. So don't be intimidated by people who are very very good in programming. So I'll also make a video about tips for freshmen in the future. And also don't cram. If like cramming works really well for you, I know people who works really well under pressure then go. But if like if you're not sure whether cramming works for you or not, don't. Pero na tayo ko na yung program yung sabay-sabay yung deadlines. Like, you don't know what you're doing. Sabay-sabay talaga deadlines. So like, you have to prioritize everything. And sometimes you'd have to do some of the things that you need to do a day before the deadline. Hindi may iwasan yun. Pero if you have the chance to not cram, don't cram. Pero if you're like, as I said, good under pressure. And if you're like the person who really, who really does well when cramming, then go. If you're not sure, don't cram. Okay, next question. What is an array? Oh my gosh, tinuro to sa sa Comsa 18. Hey, hi, sir! <laughs> so, ang array is a collection of elements. Yun ang basic niyang explanation. Collection of strings or collection of numbers. That's the basic explanation for array. So, ang next question. 
Paano niyo po na mamanage yung time niya mag akads at kumuha ng other activities like baking? Also, kapag hindi ka nakakapag-focus, anong ginagawa mo? Hi, Angel! She was the one who asked this question. Gawa rin na video. I'll also leave that link down below. She's my best friend. So, Unang-una sa lahat, pag, paano ko na mamanage yung time ko? I think kasi like, in order to be productive, you also have to rest. I mean, rest also boosts your productivity. And also, if hindi na ka makapag-focus, alam ko na pagod na ako. Like, I need rest, I need sleep, lalo na if puyat ako. Ang hirap pag-focus pag pagod ka. So, yeah, I rest. And it's also one of the essential things in order to be productive. And when you're well-rested, you're more productive. Okay. So, next question. Galing kay Angel. Tips for students na gusto ay pursue ang comsci. Siguro like if di ka sure kung gusto mo mag comsci or like if you like programming, I suggest that you you take Harvard CS50 Introduction to Computer Science Online class on edX. I'll leave the link down then below. I'm also taking that class to also learn more about programming then even though comsci student na ako. And also maganda din kasi exercises doon and pagkaganda din yung lectures nila is very engaging and also you have they have groups like on Discord and Facebook to help you guys if you have any problems sa problem sets nila ganun or like bugs that you need to debug. So, maganda yung community sa CS15 and also the lectures are very nice and well structured. So, if you want to pursue computer science or like don't know if you want to pursue computer science, take that course and see for yourself if you like computer science and also tips for people who want to pursue computer science. Dapat mahal niyo ang computer science. I mean, there are really, I think, like, kahit naman siguro anong course, there are really times na the going gets tough. And there are times that it's gonna be challenging. But it all boils down to whether you really love the course or not. So, pray for it and also, yeah, take up programming classes, take up computer science classes online so that you will be well prepared and to see if you really want to pursue that course. If you want to know why I chose computer science, I also made a video about that. I'll leave the link down below. Next question. Anong pinakaiba ng computer science at computer engineering? Ang pinakaiba ng computer science at computer engineering, ang computer science mainly focuses on software, while computer engineering mainly focuses on hardware. So, I'll not expound on this kasi I'll be releasing a video. I'm going to interview a professional developer and programmer and I'll be releasing that video next week or next next week because I have to finish my school requirements. I'm filming this video during my break time and I have missed making videos. So yes, this is my rest day so I'm making a video. So thank you guys for all of your questions. So if you want to participate in the next Q&A, follow me at billiadollarsire19. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it. And also, consider your video suggestions. And also, shout out nga pala kay Thea. Hello! And thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye!